Now that we've got the roof cut and raised and sitting up on the uh, lifting supports, let me show you what we need to do, our final prep to access the framing before we start welding in the structural members. I realized after mentioning this yesterday that it was worth doing. So I welded a nut onto the top of the shaft. I was using a regular uh, impact, but I realized this little uh, air ratchet is a little less violent. And I welded the nut down at the bottom. And so I just grabbed this one with the wrench and Bob's your uncle. Here is where we cut through the rib, the hat channel, and then the sidewall, and then perform the lift. But I need access in here now so that I can weld in a new piece of structural framing, a new rib section. I wanna be able to weld it in there, not just do a butt weld down here, but actually weld it inside. So we'll weld one inch thick wall uh, square tube in here and then formed pieces we form uh, for the sides to create the rest of the hat channel profile. So what I did is I did a secondary cut, run across here, I did this from the inside with the plasma cutter, and then on the outside, I just went across with the zip wheel, uh, a shallow cut, I'll grind these rivet heads off, and I did the same down here, and that's what it looks like. So now that's exposed the framing member, the rib, the hat channel, and I've got access now for installing the verticals. Before I start welding in new framing structure, I have gone around and cleaned up the tops of these. And I wanna show you something. Just because there's always the potential for a little bit of racking, you wanna make sure, switch hands. You wanna make sure that you get everything lined up before you start welding. Don't just assume that everything is straight. So now I'm using a straight edge just to line up this front here. Before I did that, this was actually about a quarter of an inch to the left and we're slightly sloped down here. So that makes sense. And now I can weld these in. These are just the interim uh, posts basically so that I can support everything, get everything aligned and locked in and tack welded before we start putting in the actual channel. Now this is Ruby, who just recently turned 14, and we've been teaching her how to weld. She picked it up quickly, and so we are letting her practice on the tack welds. She's doing a pretty damn good job, too. Nice. Hey, look at me and smile. <laughs> Wait, 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 Levy, that's beautiful tack weld in there. Nice. <laughs> Spectacular. That was tacky. <laughs> well played, sir. Here we're using the hydraulic press to form the side little L-shaped or angled pieces for the hat channel.
Here's a quick fly through just to show you what this looks like inside now with the framing in place. If you want to see the crash of the drone, because I didn't account for the updraft when I was exiting the windshield gap there, uh, stick around at the end. And here I'm going to show you the welding blankets we use just to make sure that we don't get any splatter on the windows. The welding splatter would definitely cross the bus and ruin the windows. All right, the framing is in. So we have eighth inch thick square tube. And then these are eighth inch thick uh, L channels that we form here and weld into place. That is definitely stronger than the original structure. I've got the door framed in back here. So we're ready for skin. And up top, I've got that square tube up there. To duplicate the original framing members up in the front, I'm using the same one inch, eighth inch wall a square tube that we used for the side structure and I'm just flattening out the end so I can weld it right back where the original piece was. So up top I have the square tube which is angled back slightly and that'll provide some rigidity forward and back but I don't think it's going to need it. I wanted to leave this area open because that's a great spot for a mini split or something. So anyway, now we're ready for the skin. And with that, I've got nothing else for you, except the crash. As always, have a good day.